Yes, CP the Toilet. Woo, yeah. We got the uh, issue number 18. And this is the uh, good through the 8, 829 through 920, 2020. Um, and then we got on the front here, we've got the Power Probe Tech. Awesome tool, 189. We're going to get just jump right into this thing. Talk about this flyer. I'm not really too excited about this flyer. Uh, I will say that uh, it has a few good deals, but uh, we're going to jump right into this guy and go off, go after it. Matco's really pushing the cordless tools. 40 foot-pounds, 3.8, 240 RPM. <clears throat> um, this is their 12-volt line. You know, uh, don't really know much about them. I'm not in the market. I'm really happy with my snap-on one, so I, I really can't give you a whole lot of information about these things. Have had a couple people that have commented and said they do get along with the Infinim line and they like them. So I guess that's a positive for them and I'm glad that Matco is having success with those tools. We also have the 3P standard impact extension set. Quarter inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, and 6 inch. $52.99 win. And then they also have a half inch drive. Let me get this up. Half inch drive. $89.99 for that set right there so if you're in the market for some impact extensions um and then we also have another foam case which i think everything i think you're going to see a lot of foam cases start to change around guys half inch drive thin wall impact side so sockets at 129 get uh get tight with your ratchet and uh 100 usa made 119 for the three eights and then they do some profile comparisons which I think is just, I, I don't know what's going on here. Compared to our competitors, there's really not that much difference when you look at that, guys. I really, I have never, ever, I have Matco ratchets, and I've never, ever been that tight of a tolerance with a ratchet. Nine times out of ten, if I have to go to that tight of a tolerance, I'm going to use my uh, mountain wrenches. <laughs> I have so many different options nowadays. That's probably why I never notice a Matco wrench saving the day for me, or a Matco ratchet. A lot of guys praise on that, but if you look at the difference here, what they're comparing on the side views, and, and the differences, and I don't know whose ratchet they're comparing it to, because that doesn't look like, I'm guessing that's supposed to be a snap-on, but that is not a lot of difference. And, and when you compare their locking head, they're, not compa they're comparing this as their smaller ratchet. You compare the locking head, you'll notice that on the Matcos, they stick up. Let's just go ahead and pull out a... Let's not, let's not wobble around here. Let's just look at it real quick since we're talking about it. If you look at a Matco quarter inch or a Matco ratchet, their locking flex right here sticks out farther. Let's see what I got here. <clears throat> let's just compare it to this Mac axis. <clears throat> So, if you look at that profile of that view, um, let me see if I can get this up here. <clears throat> get these uh, kind of lined up. <laughs> there's, there's literally no difference, hardly, between a Mac and a Matco. Those are pretty level. See if I can get that in there. They're, they are so dang close. I mean, maybe they are comparing them to the Mac. Let me switch it around so the view is the other way. <clears throat> Trying to get these as, as, as level as possible. But you can see the locking side. The Mac code definitely sticks out farther. So there's the Mac. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I know this is taking a little bit. Oh, I dropped them. Oh, knocked over the camera. Let me let me get this in here because I know this is important. A lot of guys like seeing this. A lot of comparison with this. Let me get these these suckers even, so that there's no. You know, and honestly, I just should measure them out with a mic. But I think what really counts, you can see that there's just a little, a slight difference in the anvil, and that's a Mac, Mac axis. <clears throat> flex, flex head. The head differences, it looks 
This is kind of one of those deals where it looks deceiving from afar, but in reality, there's really not much difference. Just ever so slightly. So, <laughs> honestly, I, I should mic these out and see and kind of just show you. This is an older Maco too, so it's not quite the same, but let's just look at the locking mechanisms on the flex, locking flex heads. The Maco is definitely sticks out quite a bit farther. <clears throat> you can see that where that sticks out. So, all in all, it's, it's six and a half of one, a dozen of the other. It's all about preference when it comes down to it. Guys that like Matco ratchets, I, I'm, I, you know, I'm just fine with that. So, I don't want to take the whole video up with that, so we're going to move on. Let me know in that comment box what you think. We got the Mueller caps, super scrapers, carbide scrapers. I do not have these. These are great scrapers. They're super scrapers. Carbide tip scrapers are the only way to go. So that is a great set. Then we got the Matco DA Sander 269. Um, those are great sanders. I do know that's the same one as the Max had for years. Those are really great six inch palm sanders. Some Matco welders, uh, 2469, 809 for 130 amp. We have, this is kind of interesting, the Slimline Plastic Rivet Tool. Let me get this camera. I know the camera business. My camera business is a little shaky right today. Get this back in here. Uh, slimline riveting tool, straight. And then we have the um, swivel head here for the plastic clips. 129. The Big Bad Synergy Plus. MIG welding system. Looks like a MIG TIG stick. What's this do? Intelligent, 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 intelligent. Cool fan function, man. This is a this is a synergy program mo modes. Select synergy single pulse single pulse synergic or double pulse synergic synergic impulse select material whatever. I'm not a welder, so that thing looks like it's crazy. I mean, it does mig tig. That thing's got some serious stuff going on for it for seventy five ninety nine. Matco fender cover, $19.99. Always a good option, guys. For $20, bucks, pick you up a, a Matco fender cover because that is definitely worth having. Those are rubberized, too, I believe, so they're kind of nice. They don't slide on you. Then we have the Power Probe 3 uh, Master Kit 259. That comes with a lot of stuff in it for uh, $259. Bucks. So that's a that's an awesome set. If you guys don't know how to use a power probe, that's something that I would suggest if you're in electrical diagnostics, get a whole handle on. They are helpful. You just got to know how to use them, not so you don't burn stuff up. Eliminate the guesswork trailer plug. These are nice too. Um, an alternative to the Ranger Mutt. If you guys know what those are, seven pin trailer connector. It kind of tells you if you have a dead wire on your trailer plug. Definitely takes a lot of work out of finding out if you can. If you got dead wires on a trailer or not. The Matco Revel Series Tool Storage. The new purple trim. Uh, I did see a 6S on my dealer's box. Maybe I'll clip that, snip that video into this. So if it, if I do, you'll see that right now. And we'll show I'll show you the toolboxes. He's got a new 4S and had a new 6S on his truck. I am a big fan of the 6S. I think the 6S is the best box they have. The Revel... If you look at the drawer configuration, they flip-flop it. <laughs> so, it's basically on the other side, and this is on that side, and you basically get drawer, different drawer pulls. Guys talk about the Rebel, but look at them. They are literally the same box with corner guards. They, they have the same dimensions. Uh, this box is like the same. Um, Rebel X 3-Bay, 28-inch deep. This is a triple bay. This one's 31 inches deep, too. They have a 28 inch and a 38, 31 inch 6S. That's very important to remember too, guys. Uh, I definitely would get the 31 inch if I was going to go that route. Uh, the 31 inch is tall. Excuse me. Yeah, 31 inches deep and, and 48 inches high. Why do they put that down there? 31 inch tall half chest. 
That's weird. That's not 31 inches. I guarantee you that that's taller than 31. I think that's a misprint. All right. Let's move on here. We're getting wrapped up in this. Uh, then we have the T-handle, sliding T-handles, 126 for the eight-piece metric spinners. The Matco uh, torch set. I actually have that set, 189, about years ago. Um, I break the T30 all the time, but they are, they've been good sockets for Torx. And I will tell you a little bit of information about Torx. In order for a company to call a Torx Torx Plus or Torx or anything like that, they have to pay for that. So that's a true fastener. You know, guys don't understand sometimes that Torx bits, <clears throat> there's different kinds. That's Torx Plus, there's Torx, and then people use the, the term Star Driver. You have to watch out for that. There's different different fasteners on cars, and that's why people strip them out most of the time. Um, just a little bit of information, but once again, good deal on that. Hunter Tooth, swivel head ratchet, 119. I've heard a lot of good things about them. We've got the Torco meter, uh, 250, 269. We have some metric hex keys, 36 bucks. These uh, right here are almost exactly the same spitting image ones of my Sun X ones. Let me grab those real fast, like, let you guys take a look. I have used the Sun X ones for quite some time. They quite frankly look exactly identical in every way, shape, or form. These are my Sun X Flare Nut Crow's Foot, and uh, I don't think I paid half that much for them, but they work just as good, I'm sure, as those do. But... You buy that set, you get that set free, so that's a good deal if you're looking to buy some Matco Crow's Foots because you're getting all those for $149. All right, moving on. we got to get rolling here. Getting through here, messing around with that ratchet deal. Torque Sticks, $179 for a 10-piece torque, torque limiting extension set. That's the full boat, ball joint service tool set. The new ones that are out, I really, I honestly feel like if I was going to buy a ball joint set, I would buy one of the new ones. One of the new Matco ones. OTC ones. Matco's got two different versions. Or the Snap-on. Those are your three big heavy hitters in the game. I know they're a lot more money than $179. If you can only afford a deal for the, the cheap one like that, $179 is not a terrible price. <clears throat> we have the Master Front Wheel Hub, or Wheel Drive, Wheel Drive. Wheel bearing adapter kit, 155 for replacing those hub bearings. We have the balancer pulley kit, 189. Brake cable pliers. If you guys have ever had to deal with those on GMs, they are a mother trucker. 14 inch parking brake cable plier set. Uh, they're Ford has them, GM has them, Dodge has them. They are nasty. Those pliers are definitely a huge help. So. $91, it's it's a bullet you have to bite sometimes if you can't borrow them. Four-piece stud remover fractional set. These are the ones I've used for years. Those are good good stud sets. They do break, but they do work. These things, uh, <laughs> another one that was on my worst tool, Easy Red makes those, $49.95. I would not buy those for $49.95. Ten-piece oil filter cup set, $89.99. Low profile pitman arm remover. That is kind of an interesting tool. I would like to see more on that. 205, it's pricey as all get out, but I'm just curious how well that works versus another one. Um, 299 eight piece truck adapter set. That's pretty uh, pretty common. Uh, we, then we have over here some Oakleys, you know, Matco and Oakley. Awesome stuff. Never give you prices, but I love my Oakley, so I have the Batwolves. I don't have the flats, but I do have those. Not in prism lenses. Uh, 119 for the uh, six-piece snap ring plier set. Um, 149 for the universal fan clutch set. That is a must-have most most cases if you do a lot of water pumps and stuff. Noid light set, 69.95. Very handy still. Still relevant. Uh, this light, I did check that out in the truck, but I don't, I wasn't really too impressed with it. 400 lumens high. I really don't, $109. I really don't know that that's really enough lumens for what I want it for. A lot of runtime though, 18 hours. 
uh, LED lenser headlamp, uh, 129. Then we come to the Matco toy page. <laughs> I actually, <laughs> you know, th this stuff sometimes really does get me. Because I, I look at these things and I'm like, man, that'd be kind of fun to have just for messing around in the basement. Have people over 232 Matco putting green golf putter with golf putter. You know, something when you're bored. Especially during COVID. <laughs> you know, got a couple buddies over and whatnot. The Matco banner, 3140. Uh, Matco tool skull banner, that's pretty cool. Some hats. Power bank charger, 6499. 2000 milliamp. Uh, pretty decent. I don't know. That will probably charge a laptop. Some hats, clothes, the Matco uh, polo. I don't even have a price on that polo. It's pretty cool. Kind of looks neat. Oh, yeah, they do. What? That thing's 142 Get the... Good, help me understand that one. One forty two ninety five. Holy smokes. That thing better be coming with gold thread in it. Anyways, on the back here, we have the Matco Flexible Pry Bar Set. 252. These indexing pry bars are awesome. This is a 16, 12, and an 8-inch pry bar. They definitely would come in handy. If you don't have pry bars, those would be kind of nice to have. I do like the indexable head because they get you into all different positions. But anyways, guys, I appreciate you as always. Thanks for watching. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.